life. Life is about six astronauts, I believe, who are on the International Space Station, and they discover this life form that's from Mars. And, of course, they have to bring it on their ship, and they have to study it. Thus, we have a movie. This is a movie that I wasn't the biggest fan of necessarily going. I had no expectations, really. The trailers, I kind of felt were just a ripoff of Gravity and Alien and just a lot better looking space movies. So there wasn't anything that was really exciting to me. Besides the fact that we have Jake Gyllenhaal and Ryan Reynolds, those are the big ones that really got me in there. Uh, first of all, I have to say something I really liked about this movie is the fact that it's realistic. It, the, like Alien is a hardcore horror horror movie. It's dark, it's not necessarily realistic, it's just dark and a very horror. This movie feels more realistic. This movie feels more like what might happen if we did find a human life form thing out there. So I do like that fact. It is. It feels a lot more realistic. Uh, the suspense is very good in this movie. It, it does a great job of just give, putting us on edge. There are some really great jump scares that are not bad jump scares. They're good jump scares that I enjoyed. I enjoyed getting a little freaked out during this movie. Uh, the CGI in this movie is fantastic. I love a good space movie when I just feel like I'm in space, and by the time the movie's done, I'm like, okay, I'm never going to be an astronaut. I do not want to go to space. This is good enough for me. I will watch it on the big screen, and that's it. We're good. That's as far as I'm going to be as an astronaut. Good for you, Cody. You are a coward. Anyways, so the CGI looks great. The alien monster thing is CGI, and it looks great. It is a interesting, weird, flowery, strange alien thing, and it looks really cool. It's, it's just, you have to see the movie in order to understand. Uh, the acting in this movie is all great. It, it, there's not a performance in here that's bad. Uh, it's filmed beautifully. The actual the opening of this movie looks like one shot. It's definitely not one shot. You can tell where they took CGI and just kind of blended it in there. It looks like one shot, though. And the big thing that I took away from this is the fact I just kind of felt like I was with them. I felt like I was floating throughout the International Space Station with them, doing everything that we they were doing. And that is something wonderful that I liked about this movie. The fact that I felt like I was there. It felt just really cool. It felt really, really cool. And again, closest I'll ever be to be an astronaut. Sound design in this film is awesome. With the creature attacking, we know pretty much everyone in this movie is going to die just from watching the trailers, just from reading the premise. We know that's going to happen. And all the attacks and everything, the sound design of it with this creature is fantastic. Uh, as far as my negatives go now, again, I've been saying this a lot in my reviews lately. There's not much for character development. We get, this character just had a baby that he missed the birth of because he's in space. This character has been in space longer than anybody else. This character is a wisecrack guy. That's it. We just get these one little things, really. We don't find out a whole heck of a lot about them. And therefore, when they start dying, I really don't care. The way they die is pretty cool, but I don't care necessarily that they're dead. Uh, as far as the movie goes, the first half I thought was a lot better. Once the second half starts going, we have most of the cast, you know, dead, and it's just we need to kill everyone else and get through this kind of thing. And it doesn't work as well as the first half of the movie. The first half is a lot better, I thought. Uh, it didn't really feel as scary as I wanted to at times, and I don't feel it was as scary as the movie wanted you to feel it was at times. So that was a little bit of a disappointment for me. It was scary enough, though. I did have moments where I was literally freaking out. I was... It was very suspenseful. It really was. And so it's not... Don't go into this expecting an aliens kind of thing. But it is, it's good enough that you can have a good time with. It is sort of a rip-off of Aliens and Gravity and those kind of movies. But it, it's fine. 
it, it's a good enough time. You can have fun at this movie. The dialogue, there are some smaller moments between the characters that the dialogue is pretty bad. It's, I think it's part of the reason why I didn't love the character development, because the dialogue in these smaller moments is supposed to be the character development, and I didn't like it. So therefore, I think that kind of killed the character development for me, and the fact that I didn't care that any of these characters were dying. And so that was something that really was a part of that as well. Uh, in the end, guys, this movie is fine. It's, it's not a bad movie. It's not a good movie. Can I recommend you seeing it for 10 bucks? No. Can you see it at a matinee price? Sure. It is a space movie. You should technically want to see a movie on the biggest screen possible. In the end, though, guys, you can catch this on Netflix. You can catch this on Redbox. You can watch this at home, and I think you're going to enjoy it just as much. So in the end, guys, I'm going to give this movie a solid 6 out of 10. So guys, tell me what you think. You like life? Do you want to see more movies like this kind of thing? Are you excited for the new Alien Covenant that's coming out this year? That's kind of technically aliens, but we still have aliens going on, so yeah. Anyways guys, hit like, comment below, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you soon. <laughs>